the goal of the Energy Institute is good policy based on good science. And what we've seen with hydraulic fracturing proving such an enormous resource for both natural gas and oil is that the policy issues have become clouded by innuendo, by concerns, and by issues that need addressing in order to form the background for good policy. Given the magnitude of the resources that are becoming available, again, in both countries, the United States and Canada, this is a major issue. And it's important, therefore, that whatever policy is put together by governments, both state and federal, be based on the very best science. So the Energy Institute decided with university funds to develop a independent assessment of what the facts are, what's really going on, and how can one form policy on that basis. The most important underlying scope of this study is fact from fiction. The resource is so important to the United States and to the globe that if there are legitimate concerns about the impacts on the environment of producing, transporting this important resource, we need to understand that. The immediate concern with shale gas development and hydraulic fracturing was that fracturing at several thousand feet below the surface would put chemicals into groundwater that people drank that would be very bad for your health. And so people were very much opposed to hydraulic fracturing from that point of view. So an important part of our study was to determine whether or not there is any direct verified evidence that hydraulic fracturing itself was producing contaminated waters that ended up in that process in groundwater. Our preliminary finding is we have found no demonstrated uh, evidence that that demonstration that that has happened. Uh, now that doesn't mean that there aren't ways for fracture fluids or produced waters or flowback waters to get into groundwater supplies. And that brings us closer to the surface than where hydraulic fracturing takes place. The regulations that are being used in most cases are the ones that have been used for years. They have not been custom designed to hydraulic fracturing. Does that mean they're not good enough or not adequate? And we don't find any clear evidence that that's the problem. If there is an issue, it's the frequency of inspections, the, the workforce available to do the inspections and surveillance. I think if we had any recommendations, it would be that more attention needs to be paid to what actually happens in the groundwater body. There needs to be more sampling of groundwater. There needs to more, be more analysis of things that you don't see because that's harder and is more involved and many of the regulatory staffs aren't equipped to do that. And more baseline studies. We're finding in many, if not most places, what the water was like before oil and gas development took place is not recorded. So how do you know whether you've had an effect or not or whether the effect that has happened is due to the causes that you're involved with or that somebody else is involved in? So number one, more baseline information prior to development. Number two, uh, more stringent methods for sampling and analyzing subsurface information, particularly groundwater. And number three, uh, a better capability to uh, attribute the actual causes of, of problems to the actual effects so that when we inform the policymakers to in, enforce the regulations or enhance the regulations that they deal with the right, the right issues. At the uh, AAAS meeting in Vancouver in February, we will present the results of our study more than the preliminary findings we're at a position to discuss now. And we'll focus on water effects and we'll focus on the record of concerns, the record of actual claims, and, and the record of violations and concerns, and how they relate to what has actually happened. In other words, separating facts from fiction. We'll also say a little bit about some of the other issues that have been raised. There's the question of seismic activity, and I think other panelists will address that more completely than we will.